lived in this area, has experienced this for a long time, speaking personally, I would say that if we're serious about protecting neighborhoods uh, from, from cut through traffic, protect, keeping children safe and things like that, uh, we need to we need to escalate this project right now. It could be ten years or more before that road can be widened under the best case scenario with all the studies and stuff. I think you need to find a way to speed that up, and that would be one of the best things that we could do to protect neighborhoods in this area. It's not a question of transit, or it's not a question of should should we do tolls? Sure. Should we increase transit? Sure. But the capacity is going to be the key to protecting neighborhoods and improving the quality of life in Falls Church in North Arlington. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Chase. Any, anyone else that would like to, yes ma'am, please come up. If you'd state your name for the record, please. Good evening, I'm Chris Gregory. I live a half mile from here. I'm a birthright Virginian. My family has lived off Great Falls Street since 1957. I am the second generation <laughs> to go to I-66 meetings. My parents went in the 70s. Uh, Great Falls Street is a major local arterial. There has been heavy commute traffic since 1970. I had hoped when the Silver Line went in and we were put up, we put up with the construction, and uh, that there would be some pressure relieved. No change. We cannot pave our way out of this situation. My neighbors are the ones who are going to lose their homes if you widen inside the Beltway, and. We, and it will not do any good. As I said, 1970, we still have heavy commute traffic. I walked here because it's faster for me to walk than to drive. And so please think about this. We need to invest in metro, we need to invest in buses, and we need to invest in casual carpooling. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Any anyone else that would like to speak this evening? Well, thank you all for coming out. There's been a very uh, a lot of different comments. We do appreciate them. We will continue public comment uh, tomorrow morning at eight thirty. Uh, as but as of now, we will be in recess to suspend the formal action meeting. Thanks everyone for coming out.